In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use key pressed and key type functions in order to manipulate objects. And this would work for uh, basic shapes like I'm going to be using in this video, images that you might import, any object or any variable you want to manipulate or change with a key pressed would be the same concept that I'm about to cover here. So here's what I have. I have a rectangle that was drawn using these variables, rect x, rect y, rect width, rect height. And I've defined these variables up here in global, which is some initial positions. I've set my background at zero, which is black. I've set my rectangle mode, my stroke, and my fill all in draw. And if I just run this, you can see I have this white rectangle in the center of my black screen. So if I want to make this rectangle move using the arrow keys, we know that the arrow keys is a key pressed function. So we're going to create function key pressed down here below draw. So we're going to say open key pressed. I'm going to close key press now so I don't forget later. And we're going to do our if statement if key code equals equals up underscore arrow. We want this rectangle to move up. So up is in the y direction, right? Y is vertical. Now, because origin in processing is in the top left corner, moving up is actually moving in the negative direction, while moving down would be in the positive direction. So if I want the rectangle to move up, I would need to take away from the y value. So we would just very simply write rect y equals rect y minus 1. And let's see what happens here. When I press the up key, it moves the increment of 1 pixel. If I were to change this to, say, 50, now every time I press up, it's going to jump 50 pixels. Now if I just were to copy and paste this a few times, change up to say down, now we're going to add 50. If we want to move in the left and the right direction, so say left arrow, that would be rect x in the negative direction because again remember where origin is origins in the top left so we're moving towards origin in the negative direction and if we want to say move right that would be x plus 50 so we have up is change y rect y by negative 50 down would be change y by plus 50 left would be change x by negative 50 and right would be change x by positive 50 let's see what happens so up down left and right. Now the reason this is working is because again I drew the rectangle using the x and y variables. If I just set the rectangle to be at 600 and 300 it would not move because it's no longer related to the x and y variables of rect x, rect y. And of course you can create these variables to be called whatever you want, player 1x, player 2x, whatever you want. Um, but they have to be related to your shape in order for them to move. Likewise, real briefly here, we're just going to create um, a key typed function. So function key typed, and I'm just doing this directly below key pressed. And don't forget your comments. Open key type. Close key type. If key equals equals, let's say, uh, w, we can make rect width equals rect width plus 100. So now every time you press w, the rectangle is going to grow in width. And similarly, we can make uh, rect h change rect height and this time let's make rect height equal minus 100. So every time you press h, the height gets smaller. Every time you press w, the width gets larger. So we still have our functioning up, down, left, right, but when I press W, it grows in width, and H, it sh changes its height. Like so, until of course it takes up the entire screen.